hi you're welcome to today's tutorial welcome to my youtube channel today we shall be considering the construction of a cycloid and let's get the definition of a cycloid a cycloid is defined as the locus of a point on the circumference of a cylinder which rolls without sleep along a flat surface so now today we shall consider this cycloid a given cycloid we're given a cycloid whose uh, generating circle with a radius of 20 millimeters now the circle the generating circle or the circle which rolls along this cylinder on a flat surface is 20 millimeters so now we're going to we have drawn our vertical and horizontal lines so from this we we'll create a circle which is 20 millimeters now after drawing this circle of 20 millimeters we are going to divide this circle into 12 equal parts we could also divide it into eight equal parts depending on the output that you want but for this tutorial we're going to divide it into 12 equal parts so to do that you make use of your set square which is 30 degrees set square and also your 60 degrees set square so but for this uh, software I'm using a ruler which is uh, set by the computer to 30 degrees and also 60 degrees so now that's what we're doing so after dividing it into 12 equal parts then we need to label the parts that's from 0 to 11 since coming back to that zero point is will still give us uh, the twelfth part now we're going to draw this horizontal line at this point since we see the cylinder rolls along a flat surface so we assume it's rolling along this path so now that's the part we just drew this line we just got now and we're going to divide it since the circle is turning along this path so it means the circumference it's rolling along this path the cylinder is rolling along this path so which will give us when we we unwind the circle the circumference will come up out on this straight line so now picking one of the points the point that i use is the 11 and the 10th point you can use any of the and divisions any of the parts that is divided to still give you the same dimension like this one it's 1.05 centimeter which is 10 millimeters so 10.5 millimeters so you do that then you divide into 12 equal parts so along this straight line which is the part on which a circle rolls so now after dividing it you label this part so the next set of things we're going to do is we're going to draw a perpendicular line a vertical line from each of these points that we have divided the reason for why we're getting this point is for us to get the center at which the circle is rolling on this part it means this circle is rolling and the center is not distorted so now we need for us to get the locus that's the path in which uh, we are going to get our cycloid it means we need to get the center in which this circle is rolling so now from this center we'll now connect to each respective point where this circle circular path touches the horizontal line so now we'll get this part then we'll now radiate lines from the first part 
the circle this present circle we're going to draw a line horizontal line from each of the points like this one we have 1 and 11 once you draw it they are along the same line so you extend it this line up to the 12th point that we are seeing because going to roll all the way then for 2 and 10 they are on the same horizontal line so we repeat that same process for the rest that's three four five six which will also be the same so now the next thing is remember we said the circle is rolling on the center and it's rolling on a flat surface horizontally so now we're going to pick the radius of this circle which is 20 so the radius of this circle then we'll fix it at the midpoint where for the like the first point which is one as it is at the center there where it's going to meet one the horizontal line for one we're going to describe an arc there so that's our first our second point the first point is the first uh, circle which is the zero circle so now the second point is this one then the third point will now give us uh, for this uh, two so we're going to draw it to meet the second horizontal line for the line for two two and ten so where it meets we put the pin of our compass on two then it you describe the arc on two then we repeat the same process for three and four at this fifth, fifth point with the same radius of 20 millimeters put our pin at the center point there then we describe on the an arc on the horizontal line for five then for six for us to use the same radius will not be possible we will not be able to get the accurate point so we'll send this line from the sixth point up to the horizontal line for six then now we'll continue the previous process of our radius 20 at the seventh point we we'll put it at the center there then describe an arc on the line horizontal line for seven so there we will get our points then we'll repeat the same process for eight nine ten eleven and twelve so with this we'll be able to get the various points and that will give us the locus of our cycloid the path in which the circle turns so now we've marked all the points you can see the dotted points there so now we're going to connect this point make use of our french curve or any of this uh, curve or rubber that you can use to connect any of these points but the important thing is make sure your curve is very smooth very very smooth make sure you connect two or three points that are close to each other after you get the first two points you connect them first two or three points you connect they move like that till you get your the locus of your cylinder which will give us the cycloid so now this very simple constructing this cycloid hope you understood everything we've discussed today so if you don't understand you can send some questions remember to subscribe to this channel to get more videos on engineering drawing